What is up, YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And we're kind of back with Marvel Heroes 2016 right here. I actually was talking for quite a while and didn't realize that, you know, the recording wasn't actually going on the video part. They're just audio. So I had to kind of restart the video in many ways. But, uh, you know, I have no idea which synergy to put with Beast. But basically, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Beast, who's pretty new to the game. You know, he has been out for a few days now, but um, it hasn't been that long, I don't think. Now, as far as the channel, we're going to be talking about that also. There's definitely a lot that I want to cover there. And so, you know, that's going to be one of the big things that we talk about in this video. But this is Beast right here. This is what he looks like currently in-game. He does have the Uncanny Inhumans costume, which I like better than this other one, but we do have an alternate as well. And that's the Astonishing costume. So, I mean, it looks cool, but I definitely like this one better. And then they also gave us Jubilee as a team up here. So we have her, the daughter of Brett the Hitman Heart, and she has bubble gum and everything, so. Hey, and Beast pulls out a book apparently and starts reading. So yeah, pretty cool characters. Can't wait to try them out in game. And we're definitely going to be taking a look at that. Now as far as his powers, uh, we do have Brains, Brawn, and then our Talents and Traits over here, which we'll be unlocking. As far as the Brains tree, we have a Grappling Hook Slam. Leap high into the air before using your Grappling Hook to yank yourself back down, slamming your enemies. We have the Barrier Gadget, Deploy Gas Drone, Electro Catalyst, Deploy Taser Drone, Deploy Adhesive Drone, and Grappling Hook Swing. Then in Brawn we have Bestial Swipe, Agile Tumble, Passive Bestial Rage, Bestial Beatdown, Savage Somersault, Frenzied Lunge, Flying Ferocity, I like the alliteration here, and Unleash the Beast. So that'll be his signature move. Channel your inner animal in an outburst of rage, bashing the ground around you before unleashing a territorial roar to strike fear into your attackers. And of course, we end up having his ultimate basically. We have Welcome to the Danger Room. Take a little break from combat to catch up on some light reading and let your experimental mobile danger room module do the work. And you're invulnerable for the duration, so sounds pretty cool to me. Now we're not going to be unlocking that for a while, so we don't have to be too concerned with it. But while we do this playthrough with them and just kind of level them a bit, I do want to, like I said, talk about the channel, what's been going on with me and everything like that. So basically... As far as the channel, uh, well, just gaming in general, ever since Marvel Avengers Alliance closed, I just haven't really had the same passion for video games. I haven't gotten hardcore into any other game. Nothing's replaced it or filled the void. And that's really sad. It's something that you know, I wish wasn't a reality, but it unfortunately is. And hopefully, you know, I can kind of try to find my passion for gaming again. But that's obviously hurt the channel. You know, that and the fact that, you know, when subscribers and viewers do, like, rapidly fall, that kind of hurts the morale a bit as well and maybe affects, you know, things as far as um, motivation, I suppose. You know, and certainly I've had a lot of things going on also, but basically lately I've been trying to, uh, you know, figure out what I'm going to do as far as a, a new line of work here. And, you know, I've just been having different things going on. And one of the things I think would really help, or is just a good idea, is to possibly get back into making videos. And that wasn't entirely my own suggestion or anything like that. Uh, actually, you know, I thought about it, but I've kind of been hesitating. I wasn't quite sure. And then someone that I really care about, and someone that I trust, well, my girlfriend, I, I've mentioned that I met someone think in a past video, at least once or twice. I know I haven't made that many videos, but I know I mentioned it. 
Anyway, you know, she basically was like, you should make videos in the meantime. You know, see what you can do. Try to build the channel or you know, something along those lines. And I think maybe that was kind of the extra push that I needed. And while I know it may be difficult to rebuild the channel, uh, it actually may be extremely difficult because of how YouTube's algorithm works. And in that case, there is one other possibility. So, first of all, we're going to try to make videos. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some changes that may occur that I've been thinking about. But if for some odd reason, this channel just has issues because of how YouTube works, then I may in fact make a second channel or a new channel and then just try to build that up. The difference being is, of course, I tell you all about it. And for anyone who's still, you know, watching, still like an avid fan or wants to watch the videos, then you, you know, you guys would kind of be the ground layer, the first subscribers. So I wouldn't necessarily be starting from zero. And that definitely would help out. I mean, it's, you know, even if a couple hundred of you come over or a thousand or something like that, that's a big boost really to a brand new channel. So it definitely would help out. Uh, like I'm saying, I'm, I haven't decided to do that just yet. That's a possibility, depending on how this goes. But uh, I do want to try to make videos again, try to see if I can build up the channel, and also reignite my passion for gaming just in general. So that's definitely one of the main things I want to talk about. The other thing is, so I've decided, or I haven't decided, but, so I'm trying to decide on whether or not to kind of go the same route that we went before, to kind of keep along these lines maybe of, Marvel, DC games, things like that. Or, if I should go with, you know, what has been my passion since I was a little kid. And that's old school games. So kind of going back to the, the older games from way back when. And maybe having more of a retro game channel. It's not to say I wouldn't play any new games. Or certainly play Marvel Heroes. Maybe even as a weekly thing. But, I do have a great passion for collecting and playing retro games. And so if it was along those lines of videos, uh, maybe it would be better to start a new channel. But I do think like we do more playthroughs, uh, let's plays. And, you know, I wouldn't worry as much about necessarily strategy or anything. Although, of course, if I had, you know, decent strategy for those or tips, I would give it. But be more about just having the fun, nostalgic look. Showing you my collection as well. Actually, I actually have a pretty extensive collection of uh, retro games going all the way back to, well, Atari actually, but you know, I don't have any connection to Atari whatsoever as before my time. And, uh, you know, the NES is really as far back as I s greatly enjoy playing. Um, that's, I don't even know how I would record the Atari anyway, so I even brought it up. But basically, it would be like NES, SNES, and beyond. Besides that, uh, I'd also, of course, do like collectibles and unboxings and things, because that's another thing I'm very passionate about. But one of the big differences in videos would be I'm also thinking about adding a face cam. So it may not be a face cam on at all times, but certainly in many videos and some of the unboxings, things like that, I would just go ahead and have the face cam. So, I mean, it's going to be a big change if I go that route. Uh, I do think it's one that could definitely attract a lot of new viewers, but I don't want to lose, you know, you guys, the, the most hardcore people that have been with me. So, of course, I'm interested in hearing what you think about it. And, you know, just going from there, like I said, I'm just trying to reignite my passion and uh, get back into making videos as well. So that's, you know, that's the other part of my the passion. It's video games and video making. And I just want to talk to you about that. I'm certainly going to give it a good chance here. You know, I don't want to give up. I've kind of even had that extra motivation, I guess, or extra just a little bit, you know, just just like I said, from someone I care about and trust, uh, my girlfriend just saying, hey, why don't you try to do this? So I think it's going to be a great idea. It definitely will take my mind off some other things, like school, like, you know, trying to get into like a new job and it should definitely help out my anxiety and feelings of uneasiness as far as that 
So yeah, I mean, it's a getaway. Gaming and video making is definitely an escape. And I hope that, you know, watching videos kind of helps you escape as well. And ends up being entertaining, but also can be a place for you to ask me questions, share what you're going through, and, you know, just everything that's, that's going on in your life. So, I mean, I, like I said before, I think you guys already know, I consider you friends. You know, it's not just like... Fans, it's kind of it's kind of odd even saying that I have fans. It always has been. So you're more or less friends of mine. And I appreciate you just kind of taking the time out of your day to spend that with me. Although I know it's just a short period. I mean, usually my videos are like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes max. But uh, we may do longer videos as well. Especially if we're going to do like full NES playthroughs. We may just do like... Maybe even one part sometimes. I don't know how many people can stick around for like an hour or two, however long the game may be, though. But um, we'll definitely see what happens in the future. I'm looking forward to it. I do kind of have that new motivation to get back in touch with things I love doing. And I think it'll just help you know, my stress levels and anxiety overall with the other things that are going on. So anyways... I kind of wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, we do have to do a Patreon thank you video as well. Uh, my patrons are absolutely incredible. I, I can't even thank them enough. So uh, that will be coming soon. We're going to continue playing Marvel Heroes. I even if we do the retro thing, it's not going to happen like right away. It's going to be a little while. So it's not going to be something you'll see tomorrow or within the next week. So we're probably going to be playing a lot of Marvel Heroes. I don't know if we're going to get back into World of Warcraft just yet. Um, I kind of even suspended my subscription for a little while. But as far as Marvel Heroes, uh, probably Star Wars, uh, Galaxy of Heroes. And then there's some other games that I have that are Marvel and comics related that maybe we'll just start less plays of those. Uh, that's kind of what you can look forward to in the recent or the upcoming times here in the game. But yeah, I mean, we're just trying to do this all in one take. We're not really going to do any heavy editing, as you can tell, I'm sure, on it. And uh, I want to let you know about that. Also do some playthrough with uh, Beast. See what we unlock and what we can uncover with him. So currently, you know, they do start putting skills on our bar for us, which helps out. Definitely probably help out to, to look at them and, and realize what they actually do. I do love the grappling hook slam so far. And most of these other things are, you know, pretty straightforward. Melee attacks, of course, I knew he was going to be heavy on. Alright, so our talents and traits here, I just want to go through those really quick. We have brains and muscle. Your intelligence and strength combined make you an adversary to be feared. Plus 3% crit. Plus 36% damage. 4% per fighting or intelligence. Momentum. Generate momentum by moving and using certain powers. Spend momentum to augment powers, gaining additional damage and other effects. And lastly, moving target. Your agility and ability to use the environment around you to move fast makes you hard to hit. It says that, but we know they mean hit. So yeah, we do have that. Uh, we'll be unlocking some of these talents uh, later on down the line. And then we also do have our movement ability unlocked. And that's pretty cool right there. Sorry about the phone, but, uh, you know, we kind of just scamper around here on all fours. As far as this video, though, I don't want it to go super long. Uh, probably about 15 minutes or so. So we'll maybe just try to see what else we can accomplish uh, within the next few minutes and then call it for now. But yeah, just let me know what you think about everything I've said. I definitely want to hear your opinions. That's why I share it with you. I mean, to inform you of what's going on, but also just to uh, kind of get your thoughts on everything. And usually you guys are really supportive or have some good advice and I don't always get to take it because well, I've kind of been MIA, but definitely ready to listen now. 
And I want to get back into discovering or rediscovering uh, things that used to interest me a lot. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and defeat the Shocker and we'll call it a day for now. So just run through here. There's really no need to take everyone down, but sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Yeah, it looks like he's just up here, so. Should be fighting the boss soon. Alright. So far, I'd say Beast is pretty decent. You know, I don't really, even really have any gear for him, and he doesn't have any problems taking him down. It is very early in the game, though. We definitely do want to try to get gear for him, obviously. And I'll kind of try to learn maybe his abilities a little bit better as well. Because right now we're just spamming them. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It works in this game for a lot of characters. But you certainly don't get you know, maximum potential or DPS or whatever you'd like to say. As for Shocker though, he's definitely a pretty easy push over there. And we're at level 19 just like that. So very fast leveling going on as usual with me and this game in general. Uh, you know, when it comes to all your bonuses from heroes and Cyclops, things like that, it definitely helps out. So I know I've told you that before. If you're brand new to the game or you're just starting the game, you aren't going to level quite as fast. But definitely get those potions and boosts and uh, use those. And, you know, the more characters you level, the easier it's going to be. But that is going to be it for this first playthrough of Beast here. Also kind of an update on my channel. I do want to thank you all for checking in. I really appreciate your views and just your support over the years. So thank you once again. If you can, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. That's it for now, but we will be back soon. Until then, good luck and take care.